Do you want to learn how to become Zenetsu in Pilgrim? Well, make sure you watch the entire video where I explain to you my entire build and how you can recreate it. So I'm going to give you guys a quick rundown of the Zenetsu build and I'll go to all the items I've equipped. So obviously, you know, I'm using a Mana Sword and the Shock Boots, you know, it's pretty high DPS, high speed build, pretty low HP, which we'll get into why that is later. It's kind of a mage build technically, because I assume since I have the Copper Gloves and the Shock Boots, I'll already be using too much mana. Now I figured out what the Mana Sword was and I figured it all came together pretty well. So first I'm going to show you guys how to get the Mana Sword. So first we're going to need to head over to the Friendly Witch who is in the Swamp. I'm going to show you guys where that is right now, so make sure you follow along closely. There is a faster way you can get there if you just go to the bridge and hold left if you have some kind of double jump. But if you don't have any kind of like extra jumping abilities, then follow along my path. Now we're gonna talk to our female, the friendly witch, and you know, she's gonna be able to sell us the mana blade, which is gonna cost us 600 gold, a metro sword, and 10 arch energy. But then you get arch energy by fighting the arch mage, which I'll show you guys how to go get that right now. Now the Archmage isn't insanely difficult to kill, you might have a little bit of a tough time. But my build, even though like I probably get like straight shot by it because of how little health I have in defense, but I can melt it pretty easily. So most builds you should be fine, you'll probably end up having to kill it twice to get enough Arch Energy. And now I'm going to show you guys how to get the Mithril Sword, which is also required to get the Mana Sword. Now we're just going to mirror to the mountain, if you don't know how to get there, there's probably a row 2 video or something. We're going to talk to our boy here at the Blacksmith. He's gonna offer us to make us a Mithril Sword, but we need Mithril. If you don't have Mithril, you can just go mine it around the snail area. It's pretty, it's almost everywhere. It's pretty easy to find. Now we're gonna go over my Cursed Doll, which halves my health, but makes my magic damage 25% more, which kind of makes me like a glass tank almost. I know you've never seen a glass tank before I build in this game, but you know, I'm just doing crazy amounts of damage with it. I would suggest using the Unharmed Energy if you wanna be less uh, like glassy, but they get this, so you have to go fight the skeleton, and if you don't know how to do a quest, you're kind of done the quest or don't know how to get to the skeleton, just go watch my video, the skeleton quest slash guide. Now we'll go over my shock marauder boots, which is kind of like the key point in this build. This is me dash around like Zenetsu, you know, I can just go insanely fast. And you no, know, this just plays into the build a lot. It's pretty much what the build is based around. And they get this for any need to go to the savannah. Now in the savannah, we're going to be looking for the shock marauder boss which can spawn anywhere around here, but usually it's not spawned in, so we're gonna have to go buy a copper crystal from the shop NPC, which will allow us to summon him at any time, which you see, I don't have enough gold to buy right now, so let's do a cut to where I summon him. Now, this is one of the most annoying bosses in the game, in my opinion, so he has like a few different moves. He'll do like a slide and shoot you. Every time he lightning teleports, he's gonna have like a different attack, pretty much you have your slide, do a triple shot, or do like a big spinning shot that shoots you multiple times. Once you get the timing down for it, it's pretty easy. I definitely suggest you have Rally Ace for this because you're gonna need to be pairing a lot. And luckily, I'm fast. I can always catch up to him, but he'll be teleporting a lot. So if you're a slow build, you'll literally have like no chance of defeating him. And once he gets low, he's gonna do this weird like red dot thing, which I dodged it there, but usually you can just parry it. Now we're gonna go over the mysterious charm, which no real explanation. It's extra, I didn't know what else they had put, so extra damage is always nice. We're gonna be need to go to Cloud City to obtain this. You're gonna to wanna to go to the Sky Falcon Arena. I've heard two things. I've heard that you need to get wave 50. I've also heard you only need 100 points. So if you do this by yourself, obviously it'll be a lot easier to get points, but obviously you won't be hit as far as the wave. So you know, you do what you will. Good luck. Now the last three items I'll go over all at once since they all drop from the same enemy, but obviously spark scale, extra lightning damage, it's the whole point of the build, combos well with that. Now the diver armor, spending 70 or more mana in 3 seconds turns you a 50% mana cost reduction for 5 seconds, and obviously the intellect is going to scale up our mana sword. The defense isn't ideal, but really nothing I can do about that, and this, it's the reason I'm able to do such insane amounts of damage. To get these items, we're going to need to kill the big fish, so I'm going to go show you guys where that guy spawns right now.
Now, if you go into the whirlpool with your boat, you will get teleported into a random place in the center of the sea, which could help you find a big fish. Normally, I don't like to do it, but you do you. So honestly, I just suggest cheesing the big fish, like what I'm doing here for any kind of ranged weapon or magic weapon, because it's really just a pain in the ass to try and fight normally. You have to like bring it to some kind of land, because if you fight it in the water, you're just gonna drown to death. So, you know, just cheese it like I'm doing. I'm just gonna give you the time lapse and, you know, boating around it like a top G. Then we can get to, into the last part of the video. Now we're gonna take a look at my skill tree. So, for obviously wizardry, I use because we're using a lot of mana. I wanted to use Blood Dirty, but I just couldn't get to work. I don't know why I wouldn't work with the sword, but that sucks. Ineffable, and then obviously because we're using a bunch of ma mana constantly. Tank has a few extra points, so why not? Rally, Ace, because we need some healing, and obviously the first one, mana regen, which is what we need. Now we have Athlete. Uh, I like this being able to go faster. I tried acing it to see if I could like spam the lightning dash faster, but it just didn't work out that way. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for what Wait, hold up. What's that? Cabbage Lord, you have to go slay the demon known as Patris. Kaka, kaka. Well, it looks like you guys are going to have to watch me fight Patris before this video is over. Let's go. Well, guys, this is truly the greatest foe I've ever had to fight. Hopefully, I can beat him. Oh my god, Rengoku, he came to save me, he came to slay Patris, he came to save the day, oh my god! Thank you, Rengoku! God, this is truly, this is truly amazing! Oh, this is, this is insane! Rengoku's destroying him, oh my god! Oh, yeah, thank you, thank you so much, son, Rengoku-san! Thank you guys for watching the video, I hope you guys enjoyed it a lot, put all work into this. Just please suggest more bid ideas down below, you know, I'm working on a John Wick build, a one-shot Mag Mag Megan and Maul build. I'm working on a lot of stuff right now. Like, subscribe, Kyle Short out.